Hey guys and welcome back to the next episode of Minecraft Makeover over on my server play.fairytalefallout.com and today we are here with another house build. So this house belongs to Reblex Temper 3 yt and they sent me the email with their coordinates over at minecraftmakeover at outlook.com just send an email with your coordinates preferably all in like one long line so I can just copy and paste it in and this is the house we got so it's very plain I don't actually think it's finished yet but we are going to do that for them so let's get into it
that is the house done. As you can see behind me, it is looking a lot more finished. It's looking a lot different. And I'm going to give you all a little show about. So I updated the wee path that went up to it and added some stairs just to make it a bit easier to run up. It's obviously still floating because I'm not going right into all that. And I gave it a little front garden here. So I moved the door over and if you come inside, there's some green carpet because they had a green bed. So I assumed green was what they're wanting. They can change it if not. So they have a little sofa area, they've got a kitchen, little dining area. I love using plants and carpet to conceal like this sea like lantern so that people can't, you know, like see that it's just a sea lantern. Then over here we have like what I assume might be like a garden. Um they might put a farmer's oven out here. I can get out that side or there into the front. Um I, they had that before so I kind of wanted to keep that and then if we run upstairs we have all the chest area up here this lovely green carpet this little walkway through to the bedroom I used the flower pots on bookshelves thing again just pretty simple I've got some nice sea lanterns coming down from the roof um like chandeliers and yeah I sort of tried to keep it quite minimalistic but also interesting enough i also tried to keep it in the theme of like what the other houses had kind of thing with the different types of woods which is why it's like the dark oak because those houses had the dark oak and the birch i just thought it sort of tied it all together into this nice like village doing the sort of like really tall roofs really helps like the house stand out especially since it's placed like at the top of the hill of the village so it definitely makes sense for it to be sort of looming over but not creepily looming over just like super friendly looming over you know like when you're super friendly but you're just looming over something because you're like hey so that's what this house is doing um it just looks super adorable i don't normally like using birch as like the building blocks but i did because that's what they had um i normally hate using the wood but i think it actually works it sort of makes the house look kind of quite light um, I normally would have used like acacia wood or something but again I'm trying to stick to using sort of similar themes as to what they had. Obviously they might want to make it so that that window's a shut window so the mobs don't come in through downstairs. You just know me and my open windows I think it looks adorable. So yeah if you enjoyed this video remember to leave a like. Comment down below what you thought of the house. What would you have done differently? Did you like what I changed? If you want to have your house done up go on over to play.fairytofallout.com start making a house in the survival world and then email me your coordinates at minecraftmakeover at outlook.com the email is in the description just send me over your coordinates and maybe if there's a colour theme that you're wanting to keep I normally try and find something in the house and go by that um, but if not I will just use my own discretion which means it will probably be cyan so Hope you enjoy. Remember to subscribe if you are new to the channel and I will see you all next time. Bye!